Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Incoherent <laughs> Ramblings. I'm your host, Joey Shamble. And I'm Paul Huttinger. Kale Anderson. And Daryl Jores. And we are on video that get out of my... Video, I'm not dude. Moving. I'm sitting in my chair. <laughs> that's okay. He's. Uh, we're drawing video this week to see if it works. So it wasn't just video. video bombing you. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Uh, today's topic is the. Stop it. Today's topic is the fallout of technology or this technological is give me fallout. A seizure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, our. Uh, well, that was Joey having a seizure. <laughs> yeah. Our sponsor today is Orion Pax. He was once a librarian, later to become Optimus Prime. Damn it! You got Put touch. that book down. Uh, so today's I topic. I command you get out of the novelty <laughs> romance aisle <laughs> now. Quit now. watching <laughs> porn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, today's topics right. are going to be uh, something. <laughs> tech and speech. <laughs> tech and speech. Tech and government. Tech with privacy, anonymous tech, social tech, tech isolation, tech lies and conspiracies, communication tech, tech persona, and then we will conclude the technological fallout episode. Remember, you can always reach us at show at imrambling.com. Please leave comments for us because nobody does. And yeah, that sad. doesn't sound desperate nice. enough saying please like and that. You know what? Please. Email us some, some ideas for shows and maybe we'll, we'll use it. Or Yeah, we're running out. As you can see. No, we got a list. We don't get a list. But, you know, we want to get you involved. They're not good. We, but... we give back to the community. So if you give us, we will come back. I mean, we will give back. What? If you, we will receive. From behind? And then what? give. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, oh welcome goodness. to our show. Let's move on to the. Is it the thing going on? Ah! Pre Rebel! Pre Rebel! Pre Rebel! Pre Rebel! Pre Rebel! Okay, first is Prospect in the Future! <laughs> you can see me doing this because it's on the camera! <laughs> With Joey. Uh, so, there's, uh, for a long time, there's been this uh, idea about gecko sticky hands, the, the way geckos can stick to things. They've been trying to reproduce it scientifically. And so far, it's kind of worked, but they haven't really been able to uh, get it to work well. It doesn't stick as well as gecko. Buskin, but they finally had a breakthrough at the University Those geckos, of geckos, you toss them at anything and they just blink. <laughs> Massachusetts. Don't lube your condom. That will allow you to powerfully <laughs> adhere to anything you need. So imagine taking your, your tablet or TV and just <laughs> stick it on the wall and it will just stay there. And then you're like, oh, I don't like it there. I'm going to put it over here. Screws will be a thing of the past. Yeah, but then though, the cables will still be. We use them to build houses now. I, and to add to this, I just got a text from Kim saying, I am watching Ooh. a train wreck right now. <laughs> Because she's watching us live. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, ow, ow, ow. just imagine putting yourself. it on your. On, you did it on a show we used to watch where you put it on your hands and you could climb a wall like Spider Man. So that's kind of cool. I'm looking forward to the time when I'll be able to just be a gecko and stick to anything. Or stick anything crazy to me. Because Eat the a best, gecko. Because the best thing out of that is you can say fifty percent or more. <laughs> Eat a gecko. <laughs> your car insurance. <laughs> I'm a gecko, damn it, and I like it, and I like it now. Woo! We're just waiting for the ding. Shut right? up. <laughs> yes, we are. Minute thirty. And... Well, uh, yeah, uh, two minutes is still too long. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, what you laughed at me. From me. You laughed at me. This but... is gonna cause people to have seizures. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be like Pokemon. Like Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the U.S. version. No, wait, that was the Japanese version that caused. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, they're still yeah. maximizing stiffness. Sorry, go ahead. Um, wait, who's next? Uh, <laughs> oh, it's Paul. Next. Paul. So right. oh. I am have the word of the week. Their weekly dose of lowering the bar and total Stop. nonsense. So today's word of the week is Jesus rape. Oh my god. Ooh, I think we just got in trouble. <laughs> uh, I blame uh, Paul. Uh, Look, I uh, may be on this podcast, but oh this is god. all Paul. We right? at Incoherent Rambling <laughs> does not condone rape. 
Or improper grammar. <laughs> okay, uh, so... Uh, I'm gonna say it's when you have your laid out like this. Oh, go ahead. It's it's immaculate conception. <laughs> Yay! No, no. Yeah, that's when God does you. No, <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, Actually, right. it's, it's, not, it's really not as nasty as you. Of think course not. You were just trying to. Oh wait, is it when you yes. get in the shape of a crucifix? That's what I was saying. It was no, no? but no. Okay. A Jesus rape is. Or, like, or you look like a Kevin Trash kid. One of the two. <laughs> With the chubby arms, yeah, exactly. And the little, and the little midget fingers. <laughs> midget. Thank God. No, wait, that's Kevin Patrick. <laughs> okay, go on. So, a Jesus rape is when a Let's fundamental a fundamental Christian attempts to push their religious beliefs on you, even after you said no. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. So it's a mental rape. Like that. yeah, okay, that's good. I think I'm going to use that. Yeah. Never. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, usually you can't use the word rape in polite company. Or we're not polite. <laughs> or Jesus combined with the word rape in polite company. Yeah. Yeah, well, Jesus, he raped none me. of us. Are <laughs> do you want to give? Do you want to give some of uh, your time to kill? Sure, or? go. All right, pre ding. <laughs> oh boy, that smells like I don't know. It stinks anyway. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> smells like rape. <laughs> smells like. <laughs> All right. Uh, there, it was. there is a new form of fusion. That oh, they think again? is going to cause people to have seizures. Oh my god! Speaking of fusion, I can't even talk because I hear this echo. He's echo, all like, echo, echo. There's a new kind of the echo. There's a new kind of fusion. You guys and don't it hear this echo. Combines do you? Oh Italian. Take it off. Take all right. And Thai cuisine. All right. and, this is okay. what it is. Freaking food truck. <laughs> the fusion is a new type where they use what he calls a hammer blow for the fusion. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh wait, it's me. Oh yeah! They time these hammer blows to have a time. The pressure to happen. Oh, I, I saw the thing on this. Yes. They use the hammer blows to make the fusion happen. Right, and that's so they're figuring Oops. it's going to cause the fusion to happen a lot faster. Than Is that what they call it when uh, Natalie Portman goes down on Thor? <laughs> No, that's Mjolnir. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Back to Mjolnir the fusion. <laughs> now do I get to borrow some of your time, or what? Or are you done? I guess we're going to go to I don't done. know. We, I think we just, I don't know. I'm sure that I was heard. I think we destroyed <laughs> Bill. Go ahead, Daryl. <laughs> smells only, like we're screwing up. I only did hammer time, that's all. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I'll start a little okay. early. It's not like I've got such a big thing to talk about anyway, but you know what? It's <laughs> well. time for... Hey! Sorry. It's time for... Tech talk. Oh yeah, tech talk. Talk, oh, talk the tech. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Google has bought this uh, company. The Google buying things. That's oh, wait, not it was Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, right, right, right. Oh, you know Facebook. The bought, Google bought. What? what? But this is who? not huh? just a company. Huh? This is an huh? interesting who? project. Huh? Huh? Who? Huh? 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 That's what it sounds like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, now I get my two minutes. No, no, no. That's the beginning of my two minutes. <laughs> okay, so um, Google bought Project Ara, and they were former owners of Motorola. So Motorola, um, actually, I'm not sure who has Project Ara now, if it's Motorola's thing, but I think Google held on to that. Uh, anywho, um, the idea behind it is that it's a modular phone. And it's something that should get um, geeks kind of excited because basically you have this uh, plane that's the backbone of your phone and you put in these things that are kind of like Lego bricks and those are the various components in the phone. So you can change out the size of your battery, for example. Like if you want to, say, ditch Bluetooth and maybe a few other things that you don't use very often, you could attach a bigger battery to the back plane of the phone. Oh, yeah. You can also switch out the screen. So, you know, um, after a little while, if s someone comes out with a more power-efficient screen or it's a little brighter than the one you have, you could switch that. Yeah, Kim actually showed me an article on this. It seemed like it looked very Lego-like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's pretty cool because I don't think it's going to be one of those things that will sell big to the average consumer, but it kind of um, gets the juices flowing for, like, geeks who are used to customizing computer systems and stuff like that. My juices are flowing. Oh, I'm so calm now. Yeah? <laughs> Much better. better huh? Much. You, you feeling good there? <laughs> I feel like we can the use the rest of our now. time talking about <laughs> Kale's... Um, 
Yeah, you, you feeling good now? I'm feeling good. Yeah, yeah. That's very good. Okay. Uh, can you ask Kim if it's still a train wreck? Hey, Kim, you can ask her. She's watching. <laughs> oh, Kim. Kim, what's going on? <laughs> or maybe she's watching. I really don't know. Yeah, well, she might have quit. This, we still have no viewers. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Maybe she was watching the first thing. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, it's oh, still oh, going oh, without us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like that. Uh, want me to, I'll just fast forward to the next ding. How about that? That's fine. Let's get started. Okay. Yeah. Oh, three seconds. Three, two, one. Bitch. That was kind of delayed. All right, guys, we're doing right. uh, Paul's. Uh, let's do an introduction here. This is Paul's topic of technological fallout, which was originally respect my technology, bitch. <laughs> uh, it, but we're looking at what yeah. technology. I believe has last caused. week he did not say bitch at the end. No, I don't know. I, somebody it was, it was said bitch. I don't know who said bitch. Oh, okay. but he meant it. It just yeah. was yeah implied. Mm. So, Paul, uh, tell us a little bit about what we're going to be talking about today. What do we mean by technological fallout? Well, you know, so as, as time has gone on, you know, society has implemented new technologies and, and there's many ways that we use it, but um, there's a lot of responsibility that comes with this tech and a lot of fallout that can come from it. Not positive and negative. It's not, it's not all, I don't want to say, I guess, positive Yeah, because it fallout. sounds kind of like FUD, Paul. Yeah, no, it's not If you're totally saying fun. fallout and everything, I mean, who would have well, suggested that? Yeah. Oh, Jeez. Cool. That's some lame. doom and gloom person. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But, By the way, do you look at my image? It looks like I'm in, um... You know, uh, uh, Fallout? No, no, no. It, it's like I'm in a sci-fi flick, because I'm, like, blue lit for some reason. It's your filter. I don't know why. I'm on warm. Yeah. I'm the bright one, because I have all the light on me. All right. <laughs> Go on. So, yeah, it's, it's going into the, uh responsible use of technology and how, how it's really affecting us and um, helping society. Um, well, yeah, a lot we... of the behind the scenes uh, with the te- with tech and how it's like, uh, you know, just what well, we're going to talk about how it's like taking down government or how it's uh, assisting government. We've had a lot of You don't have my thing tech. to look at this time, do you? Paul? No, no, I'm looking at it here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I clicked it. I was like, where were we? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we still we still we've done a lot of episodes on tech, but we haven't really talked about the ramifications of what is happening with because of tech. We've gone around the topic, but this is focused directly on it. Well, we how often the tech itself actually affects us. We right? often not how we affect tech. Right. On a on a topic by topic basis, I think we do get into like societal effects with these things, but it's usually just like a few minutes. So, um, I kind of got that you were wanting to take this uh, show and focus it on that aspect. He wants to go deep. I want to go deep into deep dive. PS, deep All into right. tech and how it's really affecting society and us. This starting beings. from the very beginning of yeah, you know, I, I think every tech um, affects humanity because you know you, you invent the plow, then all of a sudden agriculture is possible, and um, you know it, it gets into things like the industrial revolution. You know that was a big technological revolution. I don't think. As much as I like tech and I'm a geek, I don't think tech is always good because, um, yeah, the Industrial Revolution, in a way, was like a necessary evil to get us right. uh, it's gonna modern be messy. medicine. It's gonna, like, like, this, that. like this podcast and this video. It's going to be messy at first. <laughs> well, you're right. right. Yeah. History is messy. Smooth. And, the, you know, it's like a lot of people had to slave away like and die early in, in dirty factories in order to get to the next stage of technology. So the technology itself isn't always a good thing, but it usually leads to better lives for people in the long run, even at the expense of someone in the here and now. Well, we even, didn't adhere and in clear on do not endorse okay. slavery. <laughs> what don't we endorse? I don't know. Well, you see, that wasn't even called slavery, but it kind of yeah, was. Yeah, it was, you it know, was, it was uh, like, just bad work environments. You can, you can only buy from the company store and all this stuff like without traveling super far and who had transportation. So you were kind of stuck in a place where all your wages went back into the company. Mm-hmm. Or up your and ass. Long well, hours. Well, speaking and of slavery. few regulations. Yes. <laughs> well, if you think about, you know, like with the, uh, with I don't know the where improvements going. of, it's going to go okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> with the this. improvements of, yeah, this sea, is broadcasting sea live, travel, though. you know, larger ships, sails, tech, tech that helped them. Okay, moving on. Do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about right. tech in speech. Technology oh. is often used to facilitate and support freedom of speech. And today is more than ever, in annoying ways almost, uh, we have the ability to say whatever the hell we want, hence this podcast. Yes, this among podcast. Among other things. 
So, uh, how which is, is good. Yes, yeah. it is good, but it also <laughs> makes a mess of things because there's crap all over the place. But I guess it makes us more, uh, what do you call it, uh, discriminating listeners. I think I can get through what I want to say about this one fast. I mean, I think it's a no-brainer that freedom of speech is a great thing. Giving everyone a voice uh, can only help uh, raise the level of everyone's um, ability to be an influencer. The thing is, you know, uh, everyone worries that once you give everyone a voice, then how do you get to the good stuff? And the thing is, you know, cream rises. The the good <laughs> messages out there, they, yes, it they does. go to the top. It's just kind of a natural thing. Like, you, you want to... There's a system out there that does kind of sort things for you, or you listen to what your <clears throat> friends have to say about different things. So word of mouth still exists. And I'm not afraid of ha- living in a world where everyone has the ability to speak up, and we're utilizing that here. Yep. I think that as you, as what you're saying, the cream rises, as we get more and more people online, and as the rating system gets better and better, what we do is that you can actually be talking and watching your rating go up and more people see it or your rating go down and less people are viewing it. Yeah. And it's going to be live, kind of like this. <clears throat> and some, live. But, you know, some people think that freedom of speech means you can say whatever you want. And there are certain laws that prohibit you from saying certain things. Yeah. You can't just slander somebody. And technology has allowed people to just go on, make a podcast, like let's say what we're doing here, and, or do a voice and slander people and destroy, almost destroy their lives. But it's also a good thing so you can take control. Like, I'm going to take control of the podcast <clears throat> right now because I'm going to say hi to my boy. Hi, Wesley, it's Daddy. <laughs> I know you're watching right now. Hi there. Hi. Isn't speech amazing what you can do? I'm not even near my son right now and he can see me. I love you very much. It's okay. like Joey could be on the moon as if he's not and be talking to his little boy. Ooh, floating on the moon. Nice. So, anyway, uh, yeah, so I think we all agree that spe- freedom of speech and, and the ability to express ourselves uh, is a, a good thing. And as a society, we are going to make sure that the good speech is what's known. I mean, uh, we're going to get to trolling a little bit later, but, you know, that's a bad part of it. But it's also something that, you know, we're learning how to ignore <laughs> basically these teenage kids. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's also the allowing- free. Well, this is real fast. Freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom from responsibility. You know, you still have to back up what you say. So, okay, yeah. go on. Well, I was thinking, you know, it, with, with freedom of speech and, and technology, is it's allowing people to uh, participate um, in forums. And I don't mean like online forums, but just like um, ask questions to uh, to the president, ask questions to Congress and stuff. And, and yeah, actually like have an a asking voice anything. Now. Yeah. yeah, and so you actually have the ability where, where before you would have to either write a letter or know somebody or go to Washington or whatever. Yeah. But this is, allows anybody who's anybody to be able to participate. Or who's nobody. I think that's what's important. Right. It's, nobody, it's, given, yeah. it's given the common person access it's to giving a whole them new a level. voice to um, give their right. opinion. Well, you don't have to be a powerful captain of industry to bend the ear of your local politician anymore. However, that helps if you can pay them off. But, you know, we're working on freedom of speech here. We're working on it. Yeah. I mean, so. Facebook, you see everyone posting, you know, reposting, whether it be religion or politics or mm-hmm. whatever. And it's, it's a way to just... Well, that's a great way to go to the next. Because next is tech and government. And I think that you've got an interesting point. Because we're talking about, you know, in a democracy such as ourselves. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. there are places such as Egypt uh, where they didn't, you know, have the same freedoms we do. And... Technology is what's helped them kind of take over the government. Now it's still there's still a lot of chaos going on there, but it does give power to people that wouldn't have otherwise had it. Power to the people. Hallelujah. Yeah, and, and it's and it's also helps in getting up the truth. Um, you have like in what was the going truth? On get in out a, of here, Iran. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, <laughs> Even though I think that uh, <laughs> Iran, Iran's so far away. I'm so, I, I feel so, so bad ironic. for Paul because everyone talks over him. <laughs> Poor Paul. This is okay. Last time, Paul. Okay. It's okay. I didn't even have a tech talk this last time. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> we owe Kale two minutes. <laughs> it's because the and headphones I want him on confused your knees. you. <laughs> oh, oh no, I don't even want to know what that means. Curly dog. <laughs> 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 He wants a he wants a hammer fusion. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not a hammer toe. Go ahead, Paul. <laughs> no, no, no. 
No, I was just saying, you know, in Iran, it helps bring out the truth because you would see the government would, would hinder what was coming out of there uh, to CNN or, or whoever yeah. and their communications down, you know, they filter everything. And you, you get people on Twitter, on um, what's the anonymous nets that they use? The. Uh, <laughs> Oh, crap, whatever you call it. I don't know. Use net. Whatever, you know like Tor the, network? Tor, yeah, okay, yeah. Tor the, the onion router. Yeah. yeah, so they yeah. can get information out and actually get videos on YouTube of of them running, the government running kids yeah. over. It really makes yeah, it yeah. a lot harder for uh, governments to hide what's going on because it can get out. Well, that's part of like, quickly. this This stuff started well before the internet with uh, coverage and, and the journalism uh, that came out of the Vietnam War. Is that all of a sudden we realized yeah, but that, that had a chance to be had, stopped? But yeah, it was yeah, a start. Yeah. It was now, right, right. It can't be stopped. Right, I mean, right, right. the second it happens, it's online. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm saying that it's like that. But instead of having a journal core that's being the guard dogs of truth and and keeping uh, governments honest, you now have everybody who has a phone able to do the same thing that a journalist right. used to do. So the watchdogs are everywhere, and then. Um, it's about transparency. It's exactly what you were bringing up. And that that's kind of just um, something that's fostered by distributed networks and the Internet in general and, and the decentralization we were talking about in previous episodes. Just transparency is one of these things that um, when you have competing things in the world, you have a, an opaque government like uh, the Egyptian government was acting you have that or the choice of something transparent that's saying, hey, if we overthrow this existing government, we can take over and we've been a lot more honest with you. When you have those two things competing, the transparency always wins. So I think that opacity in many things is on its way out. It's about to die. Yeah. So, um, of course, you want certain things to be opaque. Like, you don't want everyone peering into your personal bank account and matters like that. The thing is that... Um, our government has been playing it kind of reverse, like with the NSA. They've basically been saying, we have the right to peer into all of your business, yet you have no right to peer into governmental records and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, where the opposite should really be true, the government should be in the business of protecting personal rights of privacy, while at the same time being transparent in the way that they're operating. And so they've basically flipped it so that they're saying, we have right to know everything about you. Uh, whether or not you're being investigated as a criminal or whatever. All right, so... Um, that goes leads right into privacy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're going right into the next part, which is all this tech means that, that not only are we going to know what governments are doing, everybody's going to know what we're doing. I'm kind of prescient like that. I just know what the next thing is going to be. I don't have it in front of me. Very good. Uh, That's yeah, with, with privacy, now with, with, your, with Twitter, Facebook, and your cell phones, everybody has an avenue to just post something. Mm -hmm. To capture a moment and then blast it to the world. Um, so you glass hole. Exactly. Being a glass hole. Uh, and Did then, you call him a blast hole? No, glass. Oh, okay. I, I think a, a, a prime example hole. of privacy is just, just go on TMZ. <laughs> yeah. Go on the website and it's just constant. It's yeah, celebrities, every, every don't, celebrity celebrities getting, don't get any privacy. They get no privacy sure. at all. Uh, if you're at an event or whatever and you're, you know, you fall down. Yeah. It's... Someone takes a picture, it's blasted right, right. everywhere all over the internet and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's And then really people are going to troll you for it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. you yeah. fell you end up being a meme. <laughs> Tech dog! <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that segment's over. <laughs> My bad. I mean, now more than ever, anything you do like this will stick with you forever. So in some ways, it's a great thing because it shows maybe the real you, or at least the real you at this moment, or how you yeah, are acting at this moment. Not everyone know. wants the real you out there. I mean, I don't want the real you. Out. No, wait, I don't want the real me. <laughs> what? There's something well, the like thing that. Is we're approaching 50 hours of podcasting. If they wow. don't know who the hell we are by now, then there's something wrong. Oh, we're over 50 hours. Oh, a lot, hell a lot of yeah. shows were over an hour. No, oh, actually hell out. yeah. Oh, actually out. Oh, okay. oh out. No, hell no. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Get out of my screen. <laughs> <laughs> not my screen. See, my that's Joey's territory. private space. Yeah. Leave it alone. Sorry. Private. Don't want to stop video bombing. Some people, though, are, I think privacy is going to be one of those things where we really just have to get used to it because uh, all re <laughs> that was Kale's hand. Why was Black it? Talk Joey. to the hand. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, what was I? We just have to get used to it. Oh, we have to get used to it. <laughs> 
People who grow up with it will be used to the fact that uh, everybody's going to know everything about them. They'll have a different idea of privacy. But for uh, those who I had... I think we're already getting there, aren't we? I think a lot of us are. But I think yeah, that... You definitely it, know it, that... It's becoming aware out and training yourself on how to deal... Uh, knowing about this privacy issues. About the idea of ultimate privacy, the kind that people had 20 years ago and beyond yeah, in the past, the that's, yeah, that's not going to happen ever again if you're in yeah. well, we nice had, society. We, had, we have had social norms change. I remember um, my mom talking about my grandparents on my dad's side. They uh, didn't want to eat out at restaurants because it's just like, why should I be surrounded by a bunch of strangers eating as for family? You know. Interesting. Mm. So Very interesting. You think about something like that about how just social norms change over time, and I, I think it helps that a lot of um, just because understanding privacy is kind of complicated because there are a lot of switches that you can make on the internet. Like we're doing this hangout today. It had all this stuff leading up to starting the hangout that makes you check a box that says, "Are you certain you want to join this?" Because you're uh, going to be rebroadcast and saved for eternity. So anything you say can and will be used against you. <laughs> yeah. Although so, our previous one is now gone, it said, "Are you sure? Because this is not going to come back." Right. It was but end in, in user <laughs> license agreements, they're they're just wordy lawyer speak, and I think that a lot of companies have tried to make uh, them a lot more common language, just straightforward outlining what they really mean. Um, and they yeah, have that, some, make, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. It, it makes it so that. <laughs> What are you doing? Is it on me all the time? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Can I, I look at him. I'll make sure it's jumping. It was, oh, it's I'm jumping, sure man. It's working okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's jumping all over the place, but I'm not sure why. I, I tested it out and actually moved your <laughs> mic up. Okay, maybe we should talk about the topic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's I, 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 I totally, cut, her, I totally cock blocked his topic right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about anonymity in tech, uh, anonymous tech, because uh, that's one of the things is before, if you were uh, making a... Tech talk, If you were making, uh, what's, uh, what's, uh, something, tech talk. No, if you were making uh, something in the world, uh, a splash. A splash in the world, but there's a better word for it. Oh, an impact. It's okay, it's just my dick. <laughs> uh, an impact in the world, you had to be known. People had to see, you had to right, get out right. in front of them. But now, as shown with the creator of Bitcoin, you don't have to be known. You could be completely anonymous and you could still make huge changes. You could be anonymous. Well, I think it's because of how power is decentralized and in the hands of more people. Like, you can have an innovative thing. You don't have to go find a bunch of people to fund it. You could just code it up yourself and put it out there. Yeah, that's so, true. You could. So but, before you had to ask permission from everybody, like, oh, can I please have a lot of money to go make my dream come true? But now it's like... Now you can do whatever you want to do because yeah. it's it's uh, the power spread out. The cost see, of power getting it done do is far less. What you want to do is leads into... What I wanted to go with trolling is you're on forums or, or social network. You don't have you don't have your own persona. You make your own persona online. So you make your your make your uh, profile and stuff. You can be mm -hmm. anybody you want. Oh, that's true. You I'll could be, be honest. You could be anyone. Yes, I used to play Tron 2.0 and pretend I was a girl just to see what would happen. <laughs> and it was damn hilarious, guys. <laughs> Does that mean you you're got gay? hit on by everyone? You're gay. No, I'm not you're gay. You're gay. I was just, yeah, you know. But when you're trolling on a forum, so you can just blast people, call them uh, uh, derogatory terms, do anything you want, and you protect behind that anonymous post. Wall of anonymy. Wall of anonymy. Does that work? If you're no. if you're full, if you are putting your full name out there and your full information, you would people would not be saying. Did we what skip saying to the, the trolling end. part? No, or? trolling's coming up in a bit. This is okay. still anonymous. Okay. So. No, you can troll anytime you want. Trolling's part of anonymous. <laughs> okay, well, well, one of the one <laughs> no, no, of the no, things wait. that's kind of oh, it is part of this part. Yeah. Where's the trolling? Okay, it's so one of the of things anonymous. that's that's interesting is um I don't know if any of you guys have ever hung out on 4chan. No, I don't even know what that is. That uh, it's a forum yeah. where y they just have a web form to make postings, so you don't even have to post as the same person each time. But usually, it auto fills with like whatever your last anonymous username was. But the thing is that the idea behind that network is that nothing's tied to any particular person. It's just a bunch of anonymous posts, and yeah, the trolling is just off the scale there. However, you get people who are like saying really bad things and they, they oh, yeah. say who they are, and people doing crazy things because it's it turns into pure anarchy you know like people like they have different forums and there's some dogs <laughs> you know, well i mean a lot of them are like adult related or you know they'll just be like they just have all sorts of different stuff there and the thing is like if you're a big fan of like a particular thing you can just get on there and get 
people's honest or maybe dishonest opinions because they're just playing it up like a jerk, you know. But it's kind of interesting as an experiment because that was my first time of being on a place where everyone's anonymous. And it is kind of hard to get worked up about somebody trolling you because it's just coming from some other person who's not really being themselves. Well, my too. thought is that a lot of this is just teenagers. Like, the, yeah, a lot of the sure trolling is. is just teenagers who can't control themselves yet. Yeah. But then, you know, like, you look at comments on YouTube, those are all tied to somebody, or at least someone made a persona for themselves. Um, 4chan well, is a little bit different animal because, like I said, it's all, like, you can't really trace back even who well, said what to you. Is there serious discussions going on there, or is it just crap? There, it's a, both. Really? You can find just about anything there. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Yeah. Moving yeah. on. Well, no, it's mostly you know, crap. No, no. If I anyone extend. wants to go visit 4chan, okay, I want to extend. extend. I want to extend right. on this. Actually. No, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm, this is a little fair warning here. If you want to go visit 4chan, prepare to just remember the adage: you can't unsee what you see. Is, right? is there? Is, <laughs> you're, there's. You're bound to come across. What's something the advantage weird. of going there? As opposed to... Um, because I think it's an interesting social experiment. Oh, okay. Because but, okay, kinda, that's for us. But like, why do other people go there? Uh, Mm, I want to sit on uh, if you, I don't know if you have just, some uh, j- some interest that you're afraid to admit to other people. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, it's it's really it like really you might have a fetish non- or something. Okay, you, know? I got you, you could so go it's on the there ultimate and... anonymous forum. forum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Social forum. Okay, that's yeah, that's interesting. That's because good. you would find other people who obviously went to that uh, section because they're interested in the same thing you are, and then you could gotcha. You know, okay, so the thing that I oh, outside of that that. What's it called again? Fortran? Fortran. 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 No, Fortran is le- Number four. <laughs> C-H-A-N. Fortran, yeah. Fortran, that was it. Yeah, that was it. Um, Fortran. <laughs> I think that a lot of the things, I really believe that a lot of the things that you see, the trolling, all the stuff on YouTube, all those horrible comments, it's all teenagers. It's got to be. Because, I mean, sure, it's probably some psychopathic people who, who don't care what they say and they're just putting it down. But we always picture it's someone like us who's there. You know, some adult mature and like, how could they possibly say that? It's probably some freaking fourteen year old who's hit puberty and is mad at the world because they have no filter at all. Well the other thing too oh. is you just have this anonymy armor. You know, like you can just be a total dick and you're not seeing a person in front of you. Yeah. It makes a big difference. Like on hangouts, you're not gonna get people seeing some of the things they do on comments in a YouTube video because they see your face. You know what I mean? How could you yeah. say that to me? Leave Joey alone. <laughs> I, I learned it okay, by Paul, watching you. Better, you, better, you, alone. you better get it out fast, Paul. I learned Paul. it by watching Kinda you. It's like you go to the thing and say, look at my eyes, man. I'll cut you down. Look into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we cut them off again. That's fine. We're so horrible. To okay, play. let's talk about social I tech. To say. This is the big one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he, we're not looking at him. We're treating him like he's anonymous. I'm anonymous. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, right. social tech. So this is uh, the technology of society. Well, it's what, what everything in technology has become. I mean, really, when it when it comes down to it, we're using technology for uh, ease of life. What is that? Comfort and making things more efficient, but also to socially connect because as humanity, we are becoming a network. Yeah. Uh, and so sh- well, so sh- in the early at- internet. No, I'm with Paul. Paul. <laughs> I know. Paul. Go, Paul. Go. <laughs> well, you can. No. Well, I mean, look at look at Pinterest. I mean, before like, it's a great way for ladies. Yeah, I don't know if any men on Pinterest. I want to try it out because no. it's just like no, there's, there's, all, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm hearing I don't, the ladies really use it, but a lot of ladies use it for. My I wife. say just ladies, but a lot of people use it for. Uh, recipes. Yes, and ladies are people too. <laughs> ladies are, are people. Are people. Human are beings. If you want a manly Pinterest, but you can come and see You know, mine. before you would get... I got hundreds <laughs> of good manly things on Pinterest. Yeah, I've seen your doilies. <laughs> yeah, your, your, your curly doilies. No curly doilies. <laughs> <laughs> but you got you know before you have to use cookbook you use cookbooks you use um, magazines whatever to get uh, recipes oh, or seriously. ideas for crafts. But go on Pinterest, it's like you go on Pinterest and like you are connected to the world and yeah. you're connecting to other people with the same interests and getting ideas from them instantly. Well, b- before like 15 years ago, how did you get a recipe? You called up your neighbor or like yeah, aunt so ever, whoever, and you're just like, oh, what, how do you make your bed? Why are you talking about that? Well, usually, wait, wait, let's, let's role play a phone call here. So Joey, it's ring, ring, and oh, you no, pick up. Hello? Tech talk! <laughs> Click! Okay. That was a bitch. <laughs> 
Anyone want to know how to make cookies? I'll have to check out his Pinterest. I'll show you. What are we talking about? Pinterest. <laughs> well, what's the topic? Oh, social. Social right. technology. It's brought us all together. Yeah. And also divided us into little parts and pieces. Well, the, uh, that's another thing about like how unpredictable technology is. In the early days of the internet, sure, we knew that electronic messaging was going to kind of replace mail in a way, but nobody knew like about Facebook and Twitter and social networking like that. Right, and then technology and of it, uh, it, YouTube. Like, like everyone was talking about commerce early on, and although commerce is very important for the internet, the thing that really it's used for primarily now is this vast instant communication network. You know, who? that's why it's so unpopular to pick up a phone anymore. Well, it's, it, it's, yeah, not, stupid, it's not as instant, and it's intrusive. Cable you know? companies! Jeez, it's like bundle. Oh, I get you. You have to internet yeah. and phone. I don't need a freaking phone. I got a right. cell phone. Right, exactly. Get it. Get mad about it too. <laughs> it's also good with social media uh, to help bring out the truth in things because is that your mic? Before it's, no, no, I'm straight up. Here, straight, straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Tell me how you really gotta love <laughs> me forever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Am I caught? Oh, crap, in? we got thirty seconds. Oh, yeah, we social, were saying social, they were social saying social Pinterest media, wasn't manly. Social media yeah. allows the truth to come out on some matters because before like let's say you get an email and it's a uh, a fake email or whatever like so and so solved this mystery or whatever and you post it on your Facebook well people comment saying like you know that's not necessarily true there's this mm-hmm. point of view or that that's wrong because look at this site it's it's um, showing the other side of whatever yeah. this this uh, um, topic fact, is fact checking is a lot more it's possible fact checking with the with your peers yeah yeah Oh, nice. By the way, Kim too. said the train wreck she was watching was the original one. Oh, <laughs> so, oh yeah. Never even got to see the. That's other one. definitely. So was. even though you erased it, she was still watching it somehow. Oh. So, okay. <laughs> she may be the <laughs> only one that you know, will ever see it. That was one hell of a delay. It's still going. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, because I heard like, about delay in my day. Still on. Still on. So she was watching you the whole time, like going. All right, moving on to my phone got tweaked. They're Tech all isolation. Tech isolation. And that it's amazing okay. that we just talked about the, the how tech is bringing us together. It's also separating us as well because, I mean, think about it. We are now can stay at home and do whatever we want at home and get our uh, instant gratification, and we don't have to be social. I just I remember back in yeah. my day, oh, we used to sit around the podcast recorder and look at each other in the face as we talked. You sound like they might be giants when they're doing I'm old people on Here Come the One, Two, Three. Really? <laughs> <laughs> do I now? Yeah, we'll do a link to that. It sounds okay. just like, oh, shit. <laughs> um, no, but they just... And I, now we sit around staring into our digital cameras going... Tech talk. <laughs> Shut up. Have tech talk. Uh, they, yeah, like the re- some, some, <laughs> some researchers <laughs> at uh, all these characters end up with a stroke, don't they? Yeah. 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 So, well, that one's supposed to have a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Some researchers at uh, one of the schools went in and went into fast food restaurants and they observed parents while they were with their kids, and they said a good majority, like eighty percent of them, right away brought out yeah. the phone, were staring at the phone the whole time. The right. kids would get increasingly worse and worse and worse trying to get their attention. And the parents would stay on that phone for the whole time. That is one of the hardest things is to see a kid like right by their parent and they keep going, look at me, look at me, look at me. And no one's looking. It's terrible. Because mine's saying, give me your phone, give me your phone, give me your phone. (laughs) And the thing is, what are you looking at? Sometimes it's worth it and it's good and it's a tool. Like the people who are talking about the radio were saying, oh, it's worthless. You're looking at the screen. What's it worth? Some of it is worthless. You're playing Candy Crush and your kid wants attention. Go to your kid. But, you know, if you're doing something that's efficient or that's helping know, your dude, life. I Candy Crush, man. Yeah. Uh, I, I that's that's why I stay away actually. from you it. Need, that's you need that's that a dangerous break. shit. That's Candy Crack. Yeah, that's why I haven't touched it yet. Candy, candy Crush. I have not in. even played it but once. All those games, they have that addiction factor. Like, I gotta get to the next thing. Yeah, it's I really bad. Points. This, this new one, uh, 2048, is really bad, too. Because I sit there yeah. playing, and it takes a long time to play one game. And then you're like, oh, one more. And then you play another one, and you're like, oh, it's so close. I'll play There's one more. There's this stupid... And it's like an trying to level up in Warcraft. There's a stupid Flash game I have on my computer that I probably hadn't played for a couple of years, but then I fired it up again a few weeks ago. Mistake. Because it's just like... <laughs> yeah. It's called Dice Wars. It's basically like you're playing against a computer AI. It's like playing Risk. 
and you know like you have so many die rolls per territory and you try to mm. take over the neighbor ones it's such a simple game but it's so addictive well the, the problem is, and it's like a lot of people say well these are useless and they are they're mm -hmm. useless in the real world but it doesn't matter anything could be useless it's where do you assign well, meaning and if you're going to assign getting yeah so that yeah. well, the real world world like I'm well, saying don't don't uh, dismiss your own personal satisfaction. Yeah. I mean, doing something that makes you happy is right. Is right. Good and for if you. the games do, that's but not fine. at the expense of like making moderation your kids quote. unhappy or whatever. Moderation yeah. in all things, including moderation. Thank you, Kale. I think that's a good example. Wow, that's deep. You know, never take advice from me. <laughs> including this yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah the, but we're, what we're getting at is that uh, we do get a lot more isolated from tech now but I don't think that's going to be something that's going to well, necessarily stick around I think it'll be a choice I think future. I see something fun in in what Lynn and I do is that <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 she's whoa. in the front Curly room dong. <laughs> she's in the front <laughs> room and I'm in the back room <laughs> how do you do and it? yet we totally connect <laughs> through the computer they, they have Andy they have cyber sex. Extend. Extend. In-home. All right, extend. In-home cyber sex. So you're, what are you doing? You're connecting. What are you saying? Right. connecting? It's rather than get up and come back and talk to me, she'll send me a chat message. And you know, <laughs> people say that's silly, but I agree with you. I think I it's totally, cool. I love it's, it because literally, yeah. I'll be looking at something and I'll, rather than say, hey, come back and look at this, I'll just post it on her Facebook page and then go, hey, Look at this. Yeah, I think that's cool. I think if it's used the right way, it's fine. It's not like you're not connecting with them. You're right, just connecting it a different way. The time. It's just we're not sitting next to each other. Well, I think that, you know, as much as I like to take a seat and stay planted there, you do have to get up now and then. I know. No, and that's the whole moderation thing. You don't Otherwise, want to be isolated. stay in the toilet. I, it's one of those things where <laughs> because technology is so new, there are those people who are extremophiles who will get into it, and they will become Ooh, totally extreme. isolated. But in the future, when it becomes more a part of our lives, it will become a choice, and some people will still choose to be isolated. But there will be so many advantages to not being isolated that it's not going to be a thing that's that's we need to worry about. It's like being in the factories. That's not as bad as being in the factories now, but it's one of the There's a lot downsides. less black smoke to inhale around here. And black face. Whoa! 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 No, no, it should no, be really black no. whale. Coherent ramblings do not endorse black It's fish. not a fish, it's a mammal. <laughs> yeah, that well, was a little bit Black fish. Well, you See know, our <laughs> episode on... Uh, Morals. <laughs> yeah, that one that's not published yet. Uh, this week. It will be by the time this comes you out. You know, yeah. with, with Well, isolation. I don't know. This will be like pretty... Episode 43. The Hangout version will be available soon. Go it's on. Yeah, we'll on. see about Texting that. has right, really right. <laughs> separated people and brought them closer together. Yeah. It, it, because it's very easy to just text people now, yeah. and some people prefer to be text. I love it. I think it's much better. But then I, it yeah, also I'd keeps people text. from calling people on the phone. I don't like calling on the phone. I like sexting. Actually, okay, Sexy. but between yeah. us, no. Oh, between us, no, no, no. But no, really. I, not so much. Daryl, you're like, a, is that you? Us on, <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Hmm. All right, uh, hey, you, you know what should have tipped you off was the tech talk, <laughs> <laughs> tech lies and conspiracies. Let's talk about how technology has affected someone, our reality. Someone knocking, it's Joey. Oh, foot. sorry, okay. Okay, sorry. Our yeah, mindset, our uh. <laughs> We can lie now. We can. Uh, there can be conspiracies. Get out of my picture! My back hurts. I I've always stand. been able to lie. Yeah. Always. <laughs> you just lost your People mic. People made to get me. Paul, you know what? I'm just gonna let you and your hurting back take this. Go. Well, tech has really. Um Allowed people to really, I guess, is going to the uh, how we were talking about anonymous and be able to really. You should hold it up. <laughs> so I'm going down the out here right now. Hey, my way, pop three. We gotta go out there, go out there. But people used to do that. People here, show and stuff. And all oh, that. It's like, so you know, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. So tech has really allowed people to really became, become uh, have, make a new persona online and on a why I'm talking like a fool, but. <laughs> so it allows people to go online and on it's Mr. T's trekking Ashley Madison where they may not have been able to lie in front of people now they can lie in anonymous fashion much like with me playing as a girl on Tron <laughs> but that's pretty the funny example, yeah. the example that I was yeah. really no that really was gay. that was scary <laughs> But no, no, you can lie, you can... Now, uh, how about this one? I think this is where this is going, too, about people getting married before they meet each other. Uh, my... Wow. My, my uh, niece was talking about... Not how even she, on World of Warcraft. How her friend had just met someone online. That she's like 13, 14, her friend is... I met someone online, and, and now I, I don't... She, he's gone, he's not talking to me, and I'm in love. It's like, what? You've never met this person! 
Yeah, but when you're that young, it's dangerous. You can fall in love with anybody or anything. Thing, yeah, Mr. Happy. Yeah, so it really, it really affects our reality of what really, like, what really true love is, or how really people are. Yeah, because you can fall in love with some like, fishing is the big thing. Where yeah. there was somebody who sh- who, who was fish girl. who was fished and thought that uh, <laughs> the uh, girl was this like young twenty one hot and it was hot lit girl and it was really uh, like a mom housewife who was bored went and shot her, hunted her down, shot her, and then shot himself. Damn! <laughs> wow, those people will do that no matter what. That's people true. who are whacked out of their minds are going to do crazy shit. So. Yeah, and, and and there's people like who think that like cyber cyber sex, you know, you're not really having sex with somebody that it's okay. I mean, it's like that's not yeah, you're not right. hurting anybody, you're not cheating on somebody. But yeah, I still you I still are consider with your feelings oh, with your emotions. For women, yeah, you are definitely cheating because yeah, definitely. any emotional betrayal to a woman right, is right, cheating. Right. Yeah, and and the thing is, especially as it becomes close to reality, you're just making more and more of a connection. Right. You might have gotten away with it, like you know, 20 years ago when it was just like pixels on a screen or something, and now it's like ooh. Hey. Yeah, because yeah, when think, everybody used to look like Minecraft, it was a little weird. Yeah. Well, are we talking about interacting yeah. with actual people? Or yeah, no. Is that too? Uh, Tech is allowing you to... No, porn's fine! There's nothing wrong with yeah. porn! Dude! What? All right. Huh? Pixelated porn? Who, who's you're, got you're, their mic up real out loud? This is coming out in the real world, Joey. Yeah, who's got their mic <laughs> up real loud? You told me to turn or it up. No, no, I mean the, the, the sound. Hello? Uh, huh? Hello? Hello? No, not me. Hello? Yeah. Who, is, who hears the echo? I don't know. Someone has. I hear it too. No, it's the echo going. is from here. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's from the. Because that's why I took it off. Actually, I didn't have my phone turned down. That could have been. Yes, it's probably better. Okay. You. I was just putting this here so I could actually right. speak right. in, but I, every once in a while. Anyway, back when on everybody topic. else is quiet, tick up! It's, <laughs> not, you know. <laughs> So let's move on to. Yeah, we um, wasted that topic. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, I was, we, were, we were kind of. Yeah. I had something to say about it, but that's all right. I'm well, not going to extend. No, 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 no. Go no, ahead. No, He's no. saving it first. Not on that one. All right. There's only three left. Okay, communication tech. So uh, communicating. We've already talked about it socially, but also think about how it allows us to communicate between barriers like language. I know now that I can go to a website that has a completely different language on it, and I can say, Google will say, would you like to translate this? And I will say Yes. And then and it says, do they have that accent too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then it will say, <laughs> "Bye, was well, it by baton person?" The bye, thing is, bye. you can't use it very long because then it starts sounding like Cheech Marin. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. But no, it, it allows us to yeah. communicate across barriers like language, which is really cool. And soon we'll have the universal translator, or we well, can that, go. Well, it's kind of there. There's the, the Google tran- Translate app. Uh, you can literally talk into it. It does the translation. Then it'll say like it on in phone. a different language. Yeah, yeah. you speak into it and out. But it's, but the speaker yeah. comes there. But it's, it doesn't uh-huh. it doesn't do all the different like dialects and stuff. Well, sure, it's you know. limited to but something like twenty languages. Look at when we put languages. the spam that we had. Yeah, I know that was like great. Yeah. That we got to read what. It right. is fun. It made no sense, but we got to read it. I like that you can always see the little translate thing, and when you're, you know, like even on Facebook, you're getting things from other languages that's translated, and you can kind of get what's going on. We have we weren't able to do that before. I can't remember the name of the app, but there's even one that, um, you know, sounds good for uh, when you're touring, because um, it does kind of like a um, augmented reality view from your camera phone, and. When it identifies signage that's in a foreign language, it'll actually like give you an overlay that says it in English. Oh, that's cool. So nice. you can tell what the sign's supposed to be and all that. So mm-hmm. you know there, these things are kind of still a little primitive, but they're working their way up. I think it's going to be uh, definitely we can. It's going to grease the wheels to get things done from one language to another for sure. It's also allowing people to communicate who elsewise may not have been able to. So. Oh, Elsewise. someone who's blind, you know, can can use, you know, or they can't use a keyboard or anything, can, you know, voice a uh, text. Oh, so yeah, you can you use know. it well, as... Well, blind people can use keyboards. Well, well they, feel. yeah, there yeah. are keyboard people. I don't know, maybe it was a blind person I'm not thinking of. Oh, somebody who needs to use... Well, oh, you can use voice now, which is... Maybe they don't have hands. Right, right, right. Yeah, a blind person... No fingers. Doesn't have hands. No fingers. Hey, by the way, <laughs> we are not They're against... Rigid. We're not against... We are incoherent me now. Hello, everybody. <laughs> are not against the same old... Or other paraplegics. We are not prejudiced against... That's what I was hockey. going for. Fingerless right. In fact... Fingerless people? In fact, my best friend is a fingerless <laughs> black lady sheep with a Hitler. 
Uh, but no, uh, also there's the uh, idea that you can, like, soldiers can talk to their uh, families when they're on the other side of the world visually so they can see their kids. You know, I can see Wesley, hi, you're and not don't watching forget, this. don't forget astronauts. Oh, yeah, when they're yes. going to get the asteroid, kill the, destroy the asteroid, which is... Oh, crazy. yeah. When they're getting a deep impact. And, and then she's all crying and stuff. And, and then, holding the screen and like he, this, and the hand. Ben Affleck. The hand is, is like, just, oh, wait. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it really does hinder... Oh, I turned my camera off! Well. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> there we go, it's okay, it's okay. Mm. There's, there's no, I actually turn it off language. again. <laughs> no! <laughs> Every time I see the okay. picture of myself pop up on the big screen, I can see my wounds on my forehead from How'd you find that? He was fighting an <laughs> enemy! Wow. Don't yeah. tell me real things. Wow. Like, no. And it was it communicating, was called, trying to push down the garbage, and it's in a different spot. Oh, the garbage being and the evil was, men who were attacking oh, him. There was actually this little bird feeder up there. Bird feeder so being their backup oh, into it in a jet plane. Got a so, shot. Yeah. Oh, oh, Kale, Kale got beaten by garbage. That's yeah. all right. Ding. All right. So tech persona. We kind of talked about this already. The idea that you can be whoever you want on the technology interwebs. interwebs. Um, and it's true. You can be whoever you want. So it's not just, and it's not just for lying or anything like that. It's it's kind of a fantasy thing. You know, you could be if you want to be a girl in Tron. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was Big Chi Chi. That was me, everybody. <laughs> oh, that's how, that's Holy crap! How big Chi Chi was you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the first thing that I would have caught on. Like, no, <laughs> no, no woman would have called no, herself Big Chi Chi. <laughs> well, what did they say? What, what, what did you get from other... Well, I, what I did, I did that because I was... Paul Tron, liked Tron the a attention. Lot of, a lot of That's guys on there and stuff, a lot of young guys and, and kids and stuff. This sounds just going bad. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> bad already, Paul. But anyways, it was at a time where I wanted to see like how I would be treated if I was a girl. And how were you, how was it? Much better. Everybody talked to me. Wow. They were yeah. like... Oh, where do you? How are you? What do you look like? What's this what and that? Wearing? Where are you from? Yeah. It was like totally like. How loose are you? How loose am I? <laughs> right. And I'd be like typing like, "Oh, how y'all doing and stuff." Oh, do you have so a webcam? And this and that, and, and it was just oh my god, dudes. Yeah. You're playing with dudes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are. You always have to assume. That. But it never went anything like <laughs> yep. sexually or anything. I never. No, no, I didn't go crazy or anything. But it, I just wanted to see how they. They didn't go. No. Fishing. I didn't go fishing or anything. No. Pro- probably there was someone pretending to be a guy out there. I kind of want to do Sorry, a tech. Yeah. I, I like the idea of doing a, a tech persona that's kind of me, but not really me. Based on my content, I you know, know Kale, in you a, have in a one. way, the incoherent rambling posts I do on Facebook is kind of like that. Yeah, that is. Because I, be, I just. I feel more comfortable being more snarky and mean than I would in a normal post. Because, like, you know, my face is attached to my actual yeah. profile. But then if I want to say something that's a little lewd or off-color or, like, kind of a little mean yeah. towards someone... Blame it on the company. I do it on Facebook where it's my name on But it's still... <laughs> no, it, and on the I, Google Plus where it's my name on No, there. but when I post on Facebook, it still says posted by Daryl underneath. Oh, do, oh that's yeah, right. Yeah, it has a little subheading. That's true, it does. However, it's just, like... It's kind of like a company image thing. Well, yeah. okay, now I shouldn't be talking about it as being like so much like marketing. Like yeah. it's not phony. It's just that I I feel like I have like license to take things a little further with that because I I am pretty confident we're, we're not going to get a super much more young rude kids on our podcast. Than right, we are right. In yeah, because nobody's listening. <laughs> like like if I post on my personal no profile, I'm going to be scrutinized by family and perhaps you know yeah. kids are like my nieces might be seeing it and stuff like that. So. When it's this other thing, it's one of the, I know that certain people aren't going to be looking at it. You can always say, "Well, that was that was Joey or Paul." <laughs> that was Joey or Paul. <laughs> well, yeah, you really mean. need to be aware of what you're posting and how it's going to affect you in yeah. your future. And who are you going to piss off, or who you or whatnot, and that could change everything in your life. Then who are you going to have to make more disclaimers about? Yeah, I mean, no, like, here like, I think like our Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, on, on Facebook, like oh, man. if. I have people I work with on there, family and stuff, and, I, and if right. I want to put like, hey, Kale, I found that pig dick, you know, picture you wanted. I may not oh, yes, very the, well. The infamous pig dick work. picture Kale wanted. You know, I'm, now I'm we very all know. much an introvert around most people that aren't close to me. When I'm doing incoherent ramblings, this is more like who I really am. And yeah. I think m- many people who know me outside Except of my friends today. and family. <laughs> You're much more conservative today. The real Joey yeah. has come out. What? Is. Am I? Remember, you were you were being very upset about pig dicks. Who would be <laughs> curly dogs? Whoa, 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 whoa! 
I'm sorry, guys, but the topic's horse dick. Horse dick. I thought it was sorry. <laughs> so that's your tech persona. The Paul brought up Jurassic Park earlier. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Unless we're extending. No. no. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this cannot be extended. Wait, we're going to conclude this. This is the tech conclusion, and the question I have for each of you is: How has tech affected you, Paul? We're going to start with you because Daryl comes last. <laughs> yes, he does. That's one of the ways it affected we me. Keep him satisfied. <laughs> Uh, tech has affected me by allowing me to connect with more people than I have ever before. That <laughs> sounds bad. <laughs> but, uh, as a girl. As a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Big Chi in the house! <laughs> but, no, it's really, it's allowed me to communicate with, with family that I, I would not have been able to before. Uh, I am more aware now, since using Facebook, uh, what I post and how it may affect, the way that it will affect me. Uh, I, I like how I can uh, uh, be more involved in more forums now, and be a, whether it be government or whether it be you know something like uh, library wise or anything in, in life. I feel like I have more of a voice now because of the technology. Joey, what about you? Well, uh, tech has allowed me, I think, to also get out there a little bit more, connect to other people, because I'm, like I said, naturally an introvert, so technology helps me with that. But also, it's already helped me to start enhancing my brain, which is chaos in here. So I can start using tools. To Continue, Joey. Go ahead. I can start using tools to get the hell out of my picture. I can start using tools to uh, help enhance my brain. So soon it will be connected, but right now it's just apps and stuff. Kale? It'll be connected like this. Hello, everybody. I am one of the Ingo Hair All right. All right. Well, it's allowed me definitely to connect uh, to people that I used to Don't know. Don't look at me when you're saying connect to. People <laughs> <laughs> that stalking. I used to know. Connect oh, okay, for. Right. <laughs> See, it happens. Every time I start to talk, Daryl starts talking. It's him! It's him! <laughs> Every talk. Go ahead, Kill. All right. Tech talk. <laughs> Definitely because uh, people from high school that I really want I want to know what they're doing. And now I do know. And I'm, yeah. I, I'm Facebook very, has I'm improved ashamed. stalking. <laughs> <laughs> and, and family. Facebook! Stalking approved. That's one yeah. thing that my family... Uh, my nieces and nephews and and some of my uh, brother-in-laws and things like that are coming to know who I really am because they are now on Facebook and I'm who I am no matter where I'm at when I'm online. I, you know, if you don't like me, that's too bad, but I'm going to be who I am regardless of if I'm saying curly, curly dong or not, you know, I'll say it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and uh, sing it. Is that like a new hostess baking cake? <laughs> <laughs> Daryl, tell us how tech has changed it's you. It's cream Daryl, please, <laughs> please come last. Well, uh, oh, tech, <laughs> tech has definitely tech affected everyone else. I think that it's um, the networking. Dog. The Sorry, network buddy. effect is is what's really gotten everybody is that we're all so much more interconnected than before. Um, you have to be kind of um, either asleep or non-participatory. I know some people are like too paranoid to get on the internet because it's like I don't want anyone figuring out my stuff. And um, they have kind of a point to that. But I, I think it's just there's so much easier, less friction to share things now. Be, you know, mm-hmm. like... Back in the day, it's like if I wanted to add a posting to my website, it was like, okay, I got to log into the back end and write up something. Then, oh, I'm going through all this effort already. I'd better proofread it and I'd better make sure it's good. And, you know, it's like a big ordeal to yeah, It is a lot easier to, to put your voice out there. In the yeah, world and, or and it will get Twitter easier. Is, and with easier. its limited characters, it's like, all right. It's, well, all right. ladies and gentlemen. Quick. That, you want to extend? No. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that was tech. Fallout. Respect my technology. Bitch. Was, you know that wasn't as much of a downer as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, oh, we're man. supposed to go dark. We're supposed to get dark. evil. We're killing. I think uh, we had a little more fun doing the video thing because yeah, it's something new. And it was, now yeah. we're playing. We're playing to the camera. Now we're going to find out Wait, this, how chaotic how, it really how technology became. has affected yo our podcast. Will this be our last video or our first of many or <laughs> probably in yeah, I don't know. Uh, that we do not know. Next week is uh, Joey's choice. Joey, what do you got? Well, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it sucks being the host, doesn't it? <laughs> Talking to myself is what I do best. Uh, so no arguments. Joey's his own social no, network. No, arguments oh, there. Oh, 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 oh
<laughs> Don't Stop. screw with Joey's camera. That's like getting between Stop Linda. screwing with the light. That's like getting between Linda and the Chromecast. You just don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great technology. Uh, so next week we are going to continue with my super trilogy, concluding it with superstition. So next week we will be talking about superstition, superstition. specifically, <laughs> not just net. Well, not just. Um, oh. Gotta traditional have superstition, Stevie Wonder but I want to focus on, on how people believe this crap and how things get out there and rumors and oh, how to just bunk rumors. Again, we're not being biased by calling it crap. No, it's crap. Hey, that. Okay. It works. <laughs> <laughs> I have proof. That's right. Opinion show. Opinion show, itself. damn it! Yeah, right. It's our yeah. opinions and that's what counts to us. So that's going to be next Always. week. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Paul, for bringing us the uh, wonders of the technical fallout of our lives. Thanks for turning it into something. <laughs> You're welcome. Glad we can You're help. Uh, remember, you can always reach us at uh, show at IamRambling.com or just comment. Damn it, we're here. We're... No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting that you were going to go but there. But <laughs> we do want to hear from you, even if you're queer. So please drop us a line. Let us know you're out there. Good or bad. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? Even if you're queer. <laughs> if you're queer. Yeah. That's what you said. That's what I said. Uh, okay. Because I was, if we're here, we're, we're here. <laughs> All right. Um, we did. Oh, all right. We did. Um, it. Um, it was just, oh, yeah. We did not. <laughs> We are pro. Look, we let the guy who imitates girls online on the show. Enough said. All right, so we're fine. All right, so thanks for joining us. It was a trying time in my life. I was confused. (laughs) Yeah, you were trying stuff out. Whoa! (laughs) Thanks for joining us this week on video. I'm Joey Shamel. I'm Big Chi Chi. I'm Kel Anderson. And from the set of a James Cameron movie, Daryl in Blue Light. Thanks for joining us. Remember, you can always find us on IamRambling.com. And remember, we're incoherent, so So you you don't don't have to. to. Now everyone take off your pants. Yes! (laughs) (laughs) Damn it! Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on IamRambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from Incoherent Ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish. <laughs> hey, we should do superstitious in the oh, supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Super no, that's awesome. A, no, that's his next topic. You just read it. <laughs> oh, Super no, I said I'm concluding because I looked. We're going to talk about uh, Albert. I looked trilogy? through a dictionary. There's nothing else super that's no, interesting. I need a haircut. My God. Look at that unkempt bush. Oh, I thought you were like this. <laughs> Look at <laughs> <into> that. <laughs> I need a haircut. Oh, my God. <laughs> Called a manscaper. All of a sudden, I'm like an arm. Now I'm. <laughs> <laughs>